very good afternoon and uh, thank you uh, Anna for this session for giving me this session okay so before i start the session there is a question in the chat box oer login is very difficult what can i do ma'am so i think sir i have posted a lot of information on the whatsapp group for uh, registering and logging in on the oer portal uh, please follow those instructions. They might be helpful to you. I because I can't see what exactly you are, <laughs> uh, what you are feeling that you are facing all these problems because we did it, we tried it here, and we did not face any difficulty in that. So please carefully uh, try to log in and also use the uh, all the techniques which I've shared on the WhatsApp last evening. Uh, please follow all those. Uh, that will help. So now moving forward, uh, today we will be uh, talking about video resources. In the morning session, you have discussed about audio resources and the, in the previous sessions, you have already made some kind of concept map or infographic and also you have practiced your hand on H, uh, H5P, which is interactive content. Now, because video resources uh, is not just a video which is being edited or used, Video resources also encompass images, audios, uh, music, sound effects. Everything can be added to a final video product. So whatever you have done till now, you can use all those resources while we are starting to use one particular application or software so that we can edit our video. Uh, so before getting into the technical part of this, I will uh, just give a brief overview of how we are going to move. I'll just share my screen and start the presentation. Okay. So first of all, uh, we are very much aware of video resources because of YouTube, because of many other platforms from where we are able to access the uh, video resources. And video resources are a great educational resource. This is uh, because uh, during the pandemic period also, all of us as a teacher or all of us as a student have explored a lot of videos for learning different type of content and different type of techniques of presenting content to our new learners in a new type of situation. And also the, the topics which are, which seems to be very abstract to us, which are not very easy to explain and are not visible in the real life, sometimes become very difficult to teach. So accessing a video resource, creating a video resource makes it easy and more understandable for a learner through these uh, videos. Also, we are very much aware that it is a powerful uh, tool. Why? Because it, uh, as it said, you know, a, a, when, when we speak, we deliver some part of the knowledge. But when we see and hear and all the, most of the senses are engaged, then the learning is more than with any single tool. So here we have video in which we are going to use text also, video directly, uh, person speaking or some kind of audio coming and then there is some music also so a lot of things when multiple things are coming together it becomes a very powerful medium but as a teacher why a video created by a professional we know that technically it would be very good the video created by the professional but why we as a teacher need to learn uh, to develop uh, video resources we should understand that because we as a teacher know the pedagogical out uh, overall, we have the pedagogical knowledge of teaching a particular subject or a topic also. We know the methods and techniques of teaching learning. So when as a teacher, you are going to create a video, then you are not just going to follow the technicalities of video, but also the technicalities of teaching. When these two will merge, whatever content will come out will be of much better use than that is created by the some outsider. So here, 
technically it may not be very um, uh, uh, you know very updated thing but overall if you will see it will have a better uh, understanding in terms of a content so also video is just one type of tool like you i have already listed in the beginning that infographics concept map interactives then we are going to learn a few more tools these are all different tools video is just one tool of the out of them as for example in the classroom when we go and teach we see that we have different uh, ways of teaching for one particular topic so out of that discussion can be just one methodology or lecture can be one just uh, one uh, technique of teaching from our instructional uh, list of uh, different uh, types of teaching techniques available to us now just to say now the use of videos is not just we are aiming for learners yes they are the most important aim when we are creating the videos but it also helping it it is also supporting teachers because teachers are also learning through the videos and teachers are making learning possible through videos it is also useful for instructional uh, institutions when they collectively say for example now diksha portal a portal has been created not for the institution itself but it is serving the whole country so this is how all the resources or other video resources are very useful to us and we need to create resources at a learner level as a teacher level or being at a institutional level how what are the purposes for which you can utilize videos videos can be used for any kind of content which you are creating it can be storytelling it can be explaining the abstract concept as i mentioned earlier it can also be used for presenting case studies it can also be used as a medium to record a interview on something very important which is useful for the students also and also on certain projects even projects nowadays are being developed using videos so this is all we can understand that how video is very useful to all of us now when we say formats formats you have discussed in the morning session only so i won't repeat them the formats which are presented in the audio session are also valid for the video session so it is documentary you are very well aware of when we are basically relying upon the facts not just documents but documentary can be based on other other uh, documented <clears throat> things like if you go for go visit a museum you will find out maybe the uh, the stones with engraved words or announcements all these also pave way for documentary so it is based on the facts and the authentic information given through different uh, modes and techniques when we use these facts and create a create a uh, video that is a video documentary then there is drama we are well aware of this term drama drama and docu drama this we have to understand because docu drama is something documentary and drama put together so here the facts the things we are not compromising with the facts but we are only uh, playing with the presentation technique to make it more interesting then talk is the way i am giving you right now it is a most of the time it is like a lecture where i am mostly speaking in a passive format you are not at all interacting is my voice audible somebody has uh, given in the chat that my voice is not audible yes ma'am it's clearly audible okay so talk is something which is based the, the way we give lecture in the class talk is also in the video format it's the same strategy then we have interview we are aware say for example we have to choose any of the video formats how will you choose for this you need to check your audience if you remember when uh, professor indu kumar took her session on script to screen she guided you about 
different uh, analysis first of all we are analyzing the content we are analyzing the psychological level of the children their background also and based on that we are uh, planning the content and we are deciding upon the format of the program so for younger kids interview cannot be a very good option rather interview can be a better option for our maybe secondary or senior secondary students where if information is presented in a question answer format when an expert is answering say for example economics latest trends are discussed for in economics and this way all the students of economics can be benefited through different concepts so similarly feature can be one format which is more suitable for younger kids because their span of attention is very less so one uh, not feature i'll say magazine in magazine what happens is variety of content appears say for example a poem has appeared then a story is coming then a visual is changing to more of a lecture thing then maybe assessment is also added into that so this a uh, mixture of different formats will be more appealing for younger children because their attention will also be brought back through different techniques of that particular magazine program feature as sir explained using the example of mahatma gandhi so that is we, we are not focusing on a person but we are focusing on one attribute of a person or a place or a thing it can be anything which we are focusing upon we all have multiple traits so we are focusing on any one trait or any one say for example there are a lot of monuments in delhi but we are focusing on maybe one kind of architectural uh, Uh, monuments that where all um, that particular element has been used so exploring that kind of style is an example of feature vox populi uh, you must be aware you must have been a part of when we are uh, uh, after nep 2020 or rather when nep 2020 was being drafted so you all all of us as a teacher teacher educator and as a general public our inputs were invited that what do you want into a national education policy what do you want to see in your education policy so people across the country wrote their comments gave their comments through different mediums and then nep 2020 came into force and the same thing is being applied for our new national curriculum framework which is being designed and developed using bottom to top approach that we are talking to masses first and then going on to the top uh, this thing and compiling the information given through the masses so here vox populi is important as a when they are giving their own input their own voice to the national document which is going to later on serve them similarly science and technology policy was launched somewhere in 9 uh, 2019 or 2020 so then uh, they also visited people through community radio so they what they did is what do you want in the science and technology policy and asking you you must be aware that community radios are mostly in the rural area so when we are visiting people reaching to people through community uh, radio then we are actually trying to reach to the last person of the country so that he or she can also give his own <laughs> inputs that what advancements we want in that particular document or technology so this is how vox populi plays a role in the program now we since we are talking about video resources now we will be talking about with creation of video resources creation of video resources doesn't doesn't stop with recording a video through your phone or through your camera that is the first maybe the second or the third step but that is not the end of a video resource so once you plan that you want to create a video resource you you are done with all the research that what kind of format you are going to utilize then you write a script because here we are we are going to have video according to the audio and audio also needs to be finalized so we are going to write the script first and then we are going to do storyboarding if required for the kind of video which you are making and then you are going to shoot the video video can be shot using different ways and methods one is our mobile video recording the other one is the video camera recording the third one is using slides using presentation also we can create a video 
and the fourth one is screen recording or screen casting where say for example i'm going to show you a demonstration of a tool and if you are somewhere cut or uh, if i'm uh, taking uh, say for example i'm going to give you a recording of that session so what i'm going to do when i'm presenting that particular application to you i'll screen record so that all the steps are clearly visible to you and later on you are able to practice based on that video that is the um, screen recording we are going to do in the screen recording we have the facility in some of the application about uh, recording the audio parallelly or some of the application doesn't allow you to uh, do different things so it depends on what uh, applications you are using you can do the screen casting or screen recording now once you have recorded the video now you want to edit it because the recorded video you will have recorded it in the parts you cannot do it completely in one go if it is a lecture then you might be able to but you want to you may want to cut some unwanted parts from your video or you want to add some kind of title to your video or you want to maybe add a ending slide of the video now you are also aware about creative commons you want to give a license to your video all of this you can do using editing tools of the uh, any editing tool for videos but what we are going to discuss today is open shot video editor so here again i would like to mention one thing that open shot is just one tool of editing you might be aware of others but here for this particular training we are focusing on open shot video editor why because it is open if you remember i explained what open means and how it is different from free free means only money is not involved but in open means it might be free or it might not be free you might have to pay some hardware charges but the software is free and the back end of the software is available to you to edit the software say for example you want to add some new things to the application you want to change the complete application you can do that so that is the open ness of the software oh, it is called free and open source software fos so open shot video editor is a fos tool which is available freely online you can download it you can even edit the software you can edit using the software both the uh, options are available this is what we are going to discuss but we are also aware that uh, there are a lot of mobile apps and different softwares for the desktop computers that can be used for editing but please during the session focus on focus on the uh, open shot video editor that will be my request now here you can see on the screen a link has been given www.openshot.org please uh, paste it uh, click it type it in your browser once you download once you open it go to the download button and you will get a lot of options right now it is only visible till it is only visible till windows explore windows uh, tool but you can definitely it has different options for uh, open operating system also and for mac also whatever options are available we can use that and download according to the system demands our demand the system's demand so please use it accordingly it is written here also open shot is available download on linux os x and windows so you can if you have any of these you can use this tool and it is also available in 32 bit and 64 bit as per your computer's technical requirement you can download the software and use that now once you download the software and install it run it on your computer and once it is downloaded and installed and you open the file it will look something like this what is visible on your screen so here uh, this is the project files because when we edit in some kind of project then we import files see for example when we want to edit a video 
we have to have that video first with us. So when it is in our computer, we can call it on this program and then we can edit it. Below is the below is the are the tracks where I'm going to drag the video and edit it actually. And this is the preview window. Whatever I'm editing, I'm making, it will be visible in this particular window. After this, we have we need to add many files like a video. If we are editing, we need that file. We might need a music file. We might need some images. Everything will be added using this press plus button. So we can all use these and add more files and edit it here on the tracks. And the preview will be visible in this preview window. Now we will go on to the demo directly. So when I go to the demo, I am first of all coming on the uh, Google. I want to show you each step. Now here I am typing open short. You can see the name has appeared open short video editor. When I click, you can find out www.openshort.org. Now this is open in front of you. Now, if you don't want to download, you can click here or you can simply go down and see here. See, it is the download button given here. But if you click here, you will see all the details properly that which download you want to make. Linux, Windows 62-bit or 32-bit or 64-bit, Chrome OS. If you have a Chrome operating system, you have a Mac, operating system, you have Windows, you have daily buds, and this is the source code. Source code means this is the code through which this program has been written. If you want to make this changes into this software, you can make changes through using this particular source code. Once you click on the download, the file will be downloaded in your uh, computer. And then when you double click the file, you will, uh, you will be able to basically uh, run the program and when you run the program it will be installed in your machine and it will look something like this if you give the option of putting it on your desktop then it will appear something like this you can see my cursor hovering through the open shot video editor software it is a globe with a video reel upon it now, when I'm going to start editing on this tool, I'm going to simply open this uh, tool first of all for opening any tool as we follow the steps, double click or single click and right click, and then you open it. So we'll uh, wait for this to open and then we will start editing. So before you are starting the editing, please start looking for images and videos which you want to edit using this particular software. You will be seeing that I'm taking a little extra time. There are two reasons for this. A, this is a video editing software. They are slightly heavy than any other software. And B, my system started hanging just before the session. So it is taking a little extra time also. So now you can see this was the screen visible on my PPT also. Now you can say, ma'am, your this was small, this was bigger. How can we change the sizes? So I'm telling you basics first. You can move the window whichever you want to make it bigger. If you want to make your video preview window bigger, you can do that. Similarly, for track visibility, you can do this and all your tracks will be visible. By default, it shows us five tracks. You want to increase or decrease the tracks, that is also possible. Simply click here, right click, add track or rename track, remove track, lock track. All the options are given here. Now, this is the project files box. Here, if you see, word is written project files and it will show all the project files. That means video, audio and image. All the video project files will be visible here. These are transitions. Transition means when we are shifting from one type of image to another type of image, it will suddenly appear. 
But what we want to do, as we do in PPT, we put certain uh, things that my slide will go away from the top corner or right corner or fade in or fade out. All these are available here to apply. Then here only we have one field. Now, right now it is not visible. That is, uh, that is the um, effects. So effects also we can apply on our videos. We will show you that also during the session. So now once we are clear about what all these elements are, now we are going to add a few files here. I told you this is the button for adding project files. Here also you can see a plus button. This is not for project file. Since this is under the heading timeline, it will add one more timeline. So I'm going here. I'm adding one file from here. Wherever on your computer you have kept the uh, files, you can choose from there and you can uh, do that editing part with that file. So I'm taking one file of a poem. As I click, you can see now a video is visible here. Now, if I click on video, it will still be visible. If I click on audio, it will not be visible because I am seeing only the folder of audio files. But if I say show all, it will show everything what I have called here. Now for adding more files or importing more files, you can go to file also and import files. This is also one way of getting files in. Now I will get a few things, maybe images or something so that I can edit it using the, I'll just look for two, three images, whatever they come and then we'll see. Fine, I've got three images of uh, butterfly. I will add these images. And now I will start uh, the, editing part but before that I want to add one sound also so I'll just look for the audio file if I have something So this is the audio file. Now I'll scroll here, video, only video is visible. When I say audio, only audio file is visible. When I say images, all the images are visible. Now I'm going to start the editing. So please be now very attentive and careful because otherwise you will have a lot of queries that how to do it. So first of all, I'm going to drag my video on track four or track three. Now you can see what this video is. This is in Hindi. I'm so sorry for that. I wanted to add a different video, but I just missed it. So you can just see this. I hope you can listen to the audio of this uh, video also. Are you able to listen to the audio? क्या तुम कोई शहजादी हो परे लोक से आई हो फूल तुम्हें भी अच्छे लगते फूल हमें भी भाते हैं वो तुमको कैसे लगते हैं फूल तोड़ जो ले जाते हैं तितली रानी इतने सुंदर पंख कहाँ से लाई now this is one video which I have already with me. This is also, this is a video which is created by one of the participant in the previous SRG. So I'm using this video as a basic for my video editing. Now as a, uh, when I start the video editing, what do I want? Let's say for example, whenever we create a resource, we want to add our name. So Madam Nisha Mehra has added her name on the paper itself. I might not like this, so I want to remove this name and I want to add a 
name in front of it. So it is maybe called a title slide. So for that, I'm going to go here. You can see in the address uh, at the top, we have file, edit, title, view, and help. So I will go to title and use this first title. I'll come here and we'll select one title idea which I want to use. Whichever you like, you can choose that. There is no uh, rule for that, that which one you want to choose. So I'm going to choose this. Here now I can add the title. Now you can see this is visible here and I want to change. I am going to give it a name. Home for class three. Subtitle. Subtitle, I want to give my name, say for example, or I will give the name of that teacher who have created it. Right. So now I want to save it. But before that, if you want to make any changes to the font or since it is for class three, you can change the font or you can change the color or you want to underline or give certain effect, you can do that. Or even you want to increase the font size, you can do that. This is, you can see how it is changing. You can keep changing as per your demand. And then, now this is uh, fine for me. Text color, if you want to change, I it, this is right now white, but uh, just be careful, whatever background you are going to keep based on that, you can uh, choose the color. So I'm going to choose this right now. Now you can see how the change of the color has happened. Similarly, the background also, if you don't want to keep that dark, you may uh, like to make it a little gray or this slightly different color, you can change the background also. It has not got applied. And I say save. So now once I save, uh, another image has appeared here in my project files as an image file. So here indication is that if you want to make any title and if you don't find a suitable slide here, you can create it in the presentation also. You can create it using Canva also. You can create it using Google Slides also easily. All the tools which were demonstrated to you, you can use any of those tools to create your title slide. Now I'm going to add this title slide here. You simply have to drag it here on the track. Right now it is here. We can see how does it look. This is looking like this. And to me right now it is okay. So now I dragged it, but I had to make a lot of space for it. And now once I join these files, you will see this is a very long file one. I'll just play it for you. Now you can see this is a static uh, slide and it is for a longer time. So you can reduce the time of this file also. Now the poem is starting with a jerk. So what you can do is when I was dragging it here, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to bring this here. Say for example, I'm going to bring this here. Now I'm going to drag the file. This is the title slide and I'm going to drag it again. Now, please see the magic on the track. You will see this something, this kind of button is appearing. This button indicates that the transition has been applied itself. Otherwise, we would have applied it ourselves. So now I'm going to play it so that you can see what difference now it had made. Can you see? It has slowly moved to the video, not with a jerk in the image and the video. So now this is one task which we have completed. Similarly, you can add an end slide from the title and your video is ready. But no, our video is right now not ready. Why? Because if we want to remove certain part of the video, 
or we want to add some music to the video, we can do that also. So now you must have seen in the track, only one video file is there. There is no audio file, but still the audio is there. So that means it is when it is export has been taken, it has been taken as a joint file. You can separate that audio file also. So for that, I'm going to click here, right click on the video file. When I right click, there are many options appearing. I'll say separate audio and single clip. And now you can see that the whole thing has got separated. And now I can see that video is separated from the audio. If you want to check it, we can check it also. So you can see now I have removed the audio and I'm going to play this. There is no audio. So that means audio has been kept different. So it is separated from the video file. Now I'm going to bring it here and place it back. This much is we are well aware, I hope. Uh, sir, what once again, please write the step also. For separating the audio, please click right click on the video clip, right click and these options will appear. Click on separate audio, single clip and you will be able to separate the audio and video file. Right. So now this part is done. Now I want to remove certain part of the video and I want to add something else at that place. Before that, one more thing if you want to do. If you remember, I'll just remove this filter here. Here, if you see in the video, a name is coming. We don't want to keep this name now because we have added in the title slide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the cursor in the beginning. First of all, pause. Bring the cursor in the beginning. Now, you can see we have on the image in the preview window, you can see this round mark and these corner edges, right? So these are used for zoom in, zoom out. This is the basic step. You can do it uh, through different methods here. I'm going to simply drag it, basically zoom out. And once I did this, you can see now the name has been removed from the video. It has not been removed. It has been only zoom out. So the preview part does not show the name. Right? If you do it, I what I put is I kept my player header here in the beginning. If I'm going to keep this player header in the middle, it will apply there. But I kept it in the starting. So it has applied to the whole video. So when you are doing something like this, be careful about this part, right? Now this one thing is done. We are moving on to the next. Uh, we are moving on to the next part. Now you want to maybe edit the video. Edit the video means you want to cut some part of the video also. So for cutting a video, you have to first see where you want to cut. Now I'm. Um, Again, I'm going to play your video. It is saying, dear butterfly, how, from where you got the so beautiful wings. So when she's focusing on the wings, I want to change and bring a real image of a butterfly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I can do two things. I'll show you one one by one that how it will affect. So I'm going to bring this image down here and keep it here. And for reducing the size, you can do this. Simply drag it like this, that it will appear for lesser time. Now, when I'm placing it up, then it is looking like this. Your below image is also visible. And then this is also visible. I want to keep only the butterfly right now. So what I will do is I have to edit, I have to cut the file, video file. 
remove the video file. So I'm going to come here. When I click on this scissor, now you can say it is selected and I come down, you can see my cursor has changed to a cut knife. I'm going to come here and mark a cut here. I marked one cut. I want to mark another cut because why? Because I want to remove that part. Instead of that part, I'm going to add this image. So for that, uh, once you mark the cut, please deselect the scissor. I have deselected it. Now my cursor is not changing. Now I'll flick here in the middle part, which is to be removed. And I simply select it and press delete button on my keyboard. Or I can right click and remove clip. I can do that also. So I do this. Now you can see blank spaces appearing on the track. So I'll drag the image here. Right, I'm going to drag it here. Now you can see the difference. Now you notice that the audio is coming, only video has changed. That is why we separated the audio and video so that when I'm going to cut the video, the audio remains there. So this is the use of basic separation of audio video and also uh, uh, cutting a video. Now I am ready with this. Somebody was asking in the chat that I should explain what to do if hiding text is in the middle of the image. So then of course you cannot do anything. So uh, somebody was asking about the title track. So I'm going to help you with the title track again. Again, I'm going to the title track. Now I want to make it an end slide that I'm ending it. So I go to the title. Now, since it is an ending slide, so I want to add maybe my Creative Commons license also. So you can see whichever you want, you can use that. We have Creative Commons also. This, these are the slides which you can use. You can edit, of course, all everything can be edited here. So I'm going to choose, choose this. And now I'm going to say here, thanks for watching. Song title, what we have given the title to the, this thing is poem, poem for class three. By author's name it is given. I know my author's name by Nisha Mehra. And if I want to address, I uh, uh, if I have kept it somewhere uploaded, I can add that address also or I can simply remove it. Now here it is written available under a Creative Commons license. So if you want to change the license, you can simply do that if you are very much aware of the licenses and you have selected your license accordingly so you can do this also cc by sa the actual license name also you can add so save now as i save this has appeared here and i'm going to drag it here towards the end and i'm going to now paste it with the actual video where it is ending There was a small audio trouble in the file. So I've slightly edited that part. Now I've joined it. And I can also do one thing that I'm going to do this so that effect is coming here. Transition is coming here. Now you can see this change. I'm going to play this for you. I'll bring towards slightly towards the end. Don't worry about the audio, it is lagging because it is not saved yet. Now you can see all everything has come here. Right? So since it is giving me an indication that the file is not saved, so I'm going to first save it because if I don't save it and my computer gets closed, this file will not be saved automatically. So simply I come to file and save project. 
once i save project where i have to save it then that i have to give it an address and then i can save and further edit on this uh, file i am going to save here giving it a name i am saying poem for srg2 save it is saved please be careful it is saved in the project file i am going to show you that also so i am going to my desktop this is the folder where i have saved my file and now i am going to show you you can see here poem for srg and with the logo of open shot video editor so this has been saved as a osp file you can see here also this is a open shot project file this is not a video file don't share this video file when you are sharing your assignment this has to be converted to a mp4 file that is a video file then only you can share it with others so here uh, that this part is over okay so now we have done quite a lot things now if i say for uh, now i am moving to a next part that is you want to add as a teacher we have seen that we want to add subtitles to our video or you want to add a logo to your video because in state or in even in ncert when we see videos we see a logo of that particular organization so yes you can do that you just get one logo file whatever is your logo say for example i'm treating this image as a logo so i'm going to drag it here wherever you want to keep you want to keep it in the full project full video you can do that also so i will show you you can simply drag that image how long you want maybe till here so you can do this now you have done this image is available but it is looking something like this so this is not a logo we have to make it a logo so i will take my cursor uh, my playing head to the beginning of this video and place it here now as i told you to zoom out i removed the nisha mehra ma'am's name you can also zoom in so basically you can also reduce the size of this image so i'm going to do this this is very small this is enough if you think this is enough or you want to further reduce it simply drag now it is done our logo is ready for example wherever you want to place it please take it there you have to simply drag it and take it to that corner wherever you want to keep it this is our logo ready now now if you very see very carefully i left one track empty for this because these are the effects which are to be applied on the video these are visible on the video so on the video means on that video track also so it has to be placed upper at the upper track whichever it has to be made visible over above the video also now you have seen this part and you want to now add subtitles to your video so i am going to add one more track because all the things which are to be visible in the video should be on the upper tracks so i am going to add a track above here i am doing and now i want to add subtitles so for subtitles i will go to my title slide again or what you can do is you can create uh, something from again uh, it's kind of alpha file from other softwares also or you can simply create here go to the title slide you will go here and you will find out footer footer is basically for providing maybe the name of the speaker also and for the subtitles also here because we don't have a moving subtitles option here so what we will do is one subtitle we will add and as soon as it ends the next subtitle we will add as a next slide so i am going to use this i'm going to add one text 
of translation of the poem which she is singing oh dear butterfly from where have you got these now you can see the text is going beyond my slide so i'm going to remove that part only this much i'm going to keep and i'm going to save before saving please be careful of your background so that the color of text is visible so you can change the text color here maybe i can make it red let's see how it looks i'm not very sure save so i'm going to get this here wherever from she is starting to give the poem now you can listen to this titli rani itne sundar pankh kahan se now from where have you got these beautiful uh, wings or feathers so for that i can add one more slide so that it is visible to the uh, make it more uh, accessible resource you can do that and you can reduce the time here because it is ending here only now we'll check it again titli rani itne sundar pankh kahan now here you can change the next slide and bring a new text so that it is the text is visible at every whenever every word or sentence is being spoken so this is another uh, task which we can do here now we are coming to the lower tracks now you see when i separated the video with the audio the audio went to the lower track now i want to add music to this track i have already got the music file with me i'm going to play make the playhead at the beginning bring the audio music file down i can listen to the complete music file and decide the piece i want or i can simply keep it uh, just remove the rest of the unneeded part and i can see how music is playing certain part of the music you can simply go and cut that part and remove that part for cutting simply the again scissor tool you can use like this i can mark two cuts hello remove the scissor and select and delete here i can join these two parts and then it is ready that the audio of the speaker is not audible to me acha aa jayega thodi der mein na wo aayega apne aap hi explain karwa do aapko pata hai so here my uh, speaker's audio is very low than that of the music so i can change the volume level of the speaker and the music so i'm going to click on the music file right click where we did the separate audio at the same place we have the volume button so i'm saying reset volume or entire clip i can go and check i can reduce the level of the volume i say 60% now you can see if it is making any difference now you can see the music has gone really down and it is looking like a background music so that is perfect for us now so this way you can edit the music also and also one more thing you can apply again go to click right go to volume and end of the clip you want to apply a fade out that means slowly the music will go away it will not end abruptly like a full music and suddenly it is ended so you can say slow fade out towards the end of the clip and 
you can see here two green marks are being made. That means from here it will start and here it will end. So now we will see the difference of that music. The music is going down. So this way you can utilize different features Similarly, on the video also, you can right click and you can do video fade in, video <coughs> animate or rotate the video if you want. If your images need to be rotated, you can do that. All these features you can explore and use these. That is uh, the... Now I'm going to resave it again so that whatever I have done till now, it is saved. Now that it is saved in project file, I want to export the video file. For that, I'll go to file button. I'll choose export project, export video. Please see it carefully because when you will submit an assignment, you will say, ma'am, it is not getting uploaded. So you have to have the export video button done. Once you click, a window will appear. Now it is already giving me the name which I gave to the saved file. It is also telling me where it has to be saved. Now format, you can decide you want to save it for web, DVD, device, Blu-ray or for all formats. So I'm selecting all. MP4 also you can decide which one you want to do. So don't go for AVI or WAV or other formats. Go for this format only, which is automatically given. Quality, you can also change low, medium, high. Low is good for mobile devices. Medium is good for computer, laptop and high is good for bigger screens. So you can choose based on your need. I'm right now choosing medium and export video. This will take some time. This is a very small video, so it might take one or two minutes. But if your video is a four minute, five minute or 10 minutes, then it may take an hour also. This is the final exporting. So this is going to merge whatever effects, transitions we have given, it is going to merge and make it as a one single file. So it will take a, lot, a little more time which is very normal with any kind of video editing software. So wait for that. Once it is done, we will see how our video looks like. Video sound is breaking, Ali Gulam sir, because when we are editing, we are not saving. Once we save, it gets uh, merged with the video properly. Now you will see it is properly merged. I say done. I'll go to the folder again. <clears throat> Video resources. And we are very much aware of the name poem. You can now see this was the open shot icon. Now it is the video icon. I'm going to play this. <laughs> Now we could see all the features which we have applied are visible here, right? So similarly, you can use all the transitions and effects. You can try them slowly. There is no need that we learn all the effects together because video has a lot of effects and all these things. All these transitions also you can apply yourself. Say for example, I simply ask them to apply a transition. So I'm going to change the transition to a visible one. You can see the difference. I'm going to bring this here and place this. Once I place, you can see it is very big. So I can reduce the size of the transition. Now you can see how different it is. This kind of effects uh, transition also you can try 
once you start doing it. Then there are certain effects also, which I can show you now, a few of the effects. Can we compress the size of the video? Sir, I told you the three ways of saving it. You can save it in a lower uh, quality format that will be compressed file, but you can further compress it online. Here, I it might be having that part I have not tried. Only with high, medium and low quality, we have tried this feature. <clears throat> So now uh, there were certain things like effects. I want to show you that also. So I'll just come here. My effects now are visible. So now effects, you can see here it is visible. These are the effects. These were not visible previously. So what I can do, say for example, this is my video. Now you can see, here it is my video, right? I want to apply an effect. Say for example, which is a visible one, I will show you that blur. I'm going to blur my video, drag it onto the video. Once I drag, you can see on the video track, it is written B. That means the effect has been applied. Now you see the change. It has been applied only on the video, not on this logo image, because logo image is on the different track. If you apply it there also, you can choose twice. <coughs> right? So this is how you can apply the effects of this uh, effects which are given here. Now I will take you through one more important thing. I'm going to close this project right now and open a new project because uh, I'm going to show you a totally new feature, which is once I think mentioned in the chat box also how to remove the background. So for that, I'm going to open a new project. I'm going to close this first. I don't want to make changes to this. I'm reopening a project. And if you have any questions till now, you can ask those questions also, or I will start with a new project. For new project, I need to have new files, project files. I'm going to add a new file. <clears throat> and this is something very technical, but here it is very simply presented. So practice it before we are going to I'm going to take these two things. Everything you have learned, this part I'm going to show. <laughs> this is a video of a rabbit. This is a image. Now, when I play, only rabbit is visible, image is not visible. And rabbit is on a blank screen. I want to change this screen. This is called green. This green background is called chroma key, key chroma or chroma key or only chroma. So I am going to apply one effect and remove this background and change is with this, change it with this particular image. This will be the background of the rabbit. So I'm going to do that now. For that, I will come here. I will not come here. I will go to the effects. Please see carefully where I'm clicking. Yes, you can use the PPT slides, anything as image, you can bring it here. Now I'm going to use this chroma key effect here. So this is the chroma key. I'm going to drag it on my video, not on the image, on the video. Once I drag, please, See it carefully, C is emerging here. C is emerging here. I'm going to click on the C button. Click on the C, right click on the C and properties will arise here. A button called properties. I'm going to click on properties and a new window is appeared here. Now here, just a second. Cursor always keep in the beginning. 
Now, when I'm here for this C, you can see fuzz ID key color parent color. I'm going to first play with the key color means the color which needs to be keyed and removed. We, we are going to work on that part. So I'm going to color click here, double click here. Here are the color options or you can select the color from here or if you want to choose the same color, you can say pick screen color. I'm going to come pick screen color and at point I'm going to click here. This color it has selected. Okay. Now you can see some part of it has been removed, but it is very less. Now I'm going to change the fuzz value. This is a trial and error method where you have to put the value and check whether it is performing well or not. So we will start with 10. You can see it is doing good. 20, further better. The background what is appearing is the image I have added below that. Or now I can change it to 30, further better. 40, yes. I'm increasing the number just to see how it is uh, behaving. And 60, yes. 70. That means how near color has to be removed. It is doing that. Nothing else. Now it can remove some part of the rabbit also. You have to be careful when you are doing this. Okay, now you can see we have removed quite a lot color. Now for the next range of color, we are going to reapply the chroma key option. Again, select it, bring on the same video and place it. The second C will appear. Now you click on the second C. As soon as you do a single click, this will appear. Now it is black again. Again, I'm going to say pick screen color. I'm going to select from here and then okay. And now I'm going to apply it directly 50 here. And you can see a lot of color has been removed. Quite a lot cover color has been removed. I think I need to call another chroma key for removing the rest of the color. Same process. See, select the color from the screen. And then come here, select. Okay. Change the fuzz. It has quite a lot changed. Change the first to 30 first and now you can see this, right? So now we can see that chroma has been applied nicely. Maybe 50 we need to do because green color was visible near the feet. Now it is perfect. Now it is, we have placed the rabbit in the background, nice background, but we can see our rabbit is bigger than the background. So what we can do is, we can reduce the size of the rabbit. So what there are, uh, you can do it like this at the beginning also, you can do it at the slightly moving it also. So for that, now I've moved it and I'm going to reduce it. Uh, the background has been reduced. Instead of uh, the rabbit, I reduce the size of the background. So I'm going to reduce the size of the rabbit again. Right? And also I can move it slightly down. Right now we can see. We have moved it while moving. Uh, I mean, I was moving it during the video. So it will have that effect also. You can see this is happening during the video, but you can do it in the starting. And this has happened. Now we can see it is looking nice here. A rabbit is sitting, a hut is visible behind, maybe a rabbit house is visible. And this is done. So this way you can do the chroma also with this uh, software, which was a question in the 
chat box. Again, please save the project first, then export the file as video and then use it uh, for your sharing and resharing purposes. I'm saving it as rabbit video. Now we can, I will stop the screen share. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask. Attendance is also posted for the evening session in the chat box. You can uh, mark your attendance also. If you have any questions, please post in the chat box or you can ask directly here. Ma'am, please send the video in WhatsApp for the reference. Okay, sir, I will send the video. Which one, sir, Rabbit or the other one? Uh, first one. Okay, I will send it. Thank you. No, it is not at all tough, sir. Once you try, just go stepwise. That is why we are not, generally I don't include the chroma key part because it looks tough, but then you have this question always. So I started including it in my session. Please move no, slowly and stepwise. The video of this session will also be uploaded on the CIT website so that you can uh, replay the video and do the stepwise practice uh, and uh, can get rid of your fear. of. Good evening, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I want to know, uh... From where I have to select the uh, images? This question is regarding uh, last class, that is OER class, that is copyright. No, still I have a doubt. Ma'am, hmm. uh, I will answer this query here only. For the images on the Google itself, when you go to Google images, please apply more tools option and apply the license there. So once you apply the license, you will get all the copyrighted, uh, sorry, you creative commons images, or you can go to pixabay.com. I have given all these websites for music. I was very surprised when you were asking in the audio session also for music. I have given all the places, all the uh, addresses, links, so that you can go and download your music or video or audio, whatever you want to download or images which are free and open source or at least open source. So you can please go through that presentation that is up available on CIET website. I will share the link in the WhatsApp group. Please access the CIET website, that link, and you will be able to see my presentation there. In the presentation, I have given all the addresses for accessing different type of open resources. From open resources, I can directly uh, get the image and if I am uploading it, then there will be no issues like uh, copyright issues. Ma'am, you only have to give credit maybe towards the end of the video or the slide or whatever you are making. You can give the credit or when you are adding the image also, you can give a subtitle saying that this image has been taken from where. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Excuse yes, me. This is Gordon. Uh, open shot editor is also like this. Uh, I think. Sir, there are different tools. They are all similar. We have to select only one tool at a time to demonstrate. So it is the tool which we have selected. If you know any other open source tool also for editing, you can share with others. But for here, I will request you to practice on this tool once. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, can we adjust the brightness, lighting effects on video? So yes, uh, sir, when I open the properties on any video or image, you can open the properties. And in the properties left side, you will find a lot of option to adjust the different uh, aspects of the video or image. You can do that. Hello, morning, Kamal. Good evening. Hi, ji. ji, sir. Uh, Ma'am, uh, such kind of uh, video editor is also there. That's uh, Kind Master. So, ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, is, is there any difference, or you know, in this? I, I, I while watching the the video, or while watching you uh, the uh, today's session, 
uh, it is quite similar with that. So what is the benefit to use this and uh, your, uh, other than the kind master or other, uh, you know, video editor? Uh, so, sir, I as I told, there are many applications and software which you can use. Definitely, I have not used Kind Master, but I have seen a lot of participants making you video using Kind Master. So, first thing is, how do I get to know that it is a Kind Master video? Because that is a private thing, so they give their watermark in every video. If you want to go with that, you are most welcome. But in open shot, we are saved from all these that where I have prepared this video from. So you can use this. Otherwise, there is no as such problem. But as a training purposes, we try to use open and free uh, things so that you are not in any kind of trouble for paying for certain things. And also, you are not under any kind of uh, challenges of creating open educational resources. Thank you, ma'am. Kind Master is simple and very easy, sir. It is because you have used it. Once you use this, you, did you did you find it uh, find any difficulty on my face when I was using it? No, it is just practice. You can just try it once. You will be able to handle it easily. Ma'am, one request, ma'am. Yeah. Kindly post this video to the group. It's very informative. I want to watch once again. So Ma'am, everything, as I mentioned, uh, we have a CIET website, mm -hmm. CIET dot, uh, I'll just paste the link all because you will not be able to remember it. So I will post the link of the website. In the CIET website, under events section, there is SRG page already created. Once you go on that SRG page, you will find all the presentations of these program, this particular phase. And all the videos of this phase available there for your later viewing also. Ma'am, is it possible to make animated video uh, in the software? Sir, basically animation you can't do here. Basic animation like movement you can put in a few things. But this is a video editing software. But if you have created some kind of animation and you want to bring and edit it here, you can do that. Like, for example, tomorrow you are going to learn a tool, which is a stop motion animation. You're going to create, say, for example, this video, which I used is a stop motion animation video. Once you create a video, you want to add music, you want to do all these things. You can bring that video here and you can edit it. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, one query, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Pixabay I'm using right now. But still, okay. I belong to Telangana state when I'm picking the picture from a textbook. Mm -hmm. So do I need to specify any CC or anything? Ma'am, can you please repeat your question? Like, uh, almost all I'm using Pixabay pictures. Okay. But uh, wherever, if I am not finding a related picture, so mm -hmm. I'm taking from textbook, state textbook. Okay, right. So, uh, sometimes uh, uh, copy paste is not allowing, like uh, yesterday in HYP. So, hmm. what is the process? Can you please? Ma'am, from the textbook, if you are taking the picture, copyright uh, in the textbook, it is mostly, it is not allowed to be used. You have to check the Telangana book licenses, as I explained you, the NCRT textbook licenses. So if that is also uh, allowed, say for example, they are also released under Creative Commons and they allow you to use the images, you can make a, a take out the screenshot of that image and then as an image file, you can upload or download in any software or any application, even in H5P. But if you want to copy and paste, many softwares won't allow for that. You have to save it as an image file and then you can Pull that image file as I was pulling it as a project file. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I have posted the CIT link in the chat box page link. You can directly go to that. Everything right now, this session will not be there. Maybe by tomorrow, you'll be able to see. Uh, so other sessions and other presentations have been put there. There is a question from Ravi Shankar, sir. How to zoom in, zoom out slowly like transition effect? Sir, I showed you a one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is through properties. Click on the properties button, like 
when you click on any video or any image right click go to properties property will uh, property box will uh, open you can go there and uh, apply different effects and learn any other questions please no other questions Ma'am, uh, like uh, in the screen, uh, green screen, we have seen a chroma key you have uh, uh, taken uh, thrice. Hmm. So, uh, all the time, uh, as per the screen requirement, we have to select those many times? Ma'am, basically, chroma key was same. If you remember, in especially this case, the background screen was same color. But when a rabbit is sitting there, the shadow is appearing. Shadow means the shade of the green is changing. So it won't remove directly. Whatever shade I'm going to select and whatever going to fuzz and give up to a percentage extension, that much only it is going to remove. So if I remove it in one go, then it might be that some part of rabbit is also removed. Please try it. It has happened to me also. Because it will remove some other thing also. So when we apply it twice, thrice, then we are very focused about that color. It won't affect our actual element. So that's the purpose of selecting, deselecting it twice, thrice, four times, so that we can do it in a quality manner. Thank you, ma'am. I hope uh, language changes, is it available in this editing software, ma'am? I want Tamil typing. Sir, you can do is Google input tool you can use and type there and bring here. When you bring here, please be careful. Sometime space error of words is changed when we paste. So carefully paste it, correct it, and then you apply it, it will be available. Or what you can do is you can simply say, uh, you can simply prepare the uh, slide or title slide in some other, say for example, presentation or Google slide and bring it here. That is also one possibility. So if no more questions are there, uh, we can, I think, close the session. Attendance link has been posted for all of you to mark your attendance. So please mark it. It is a mandatory aspect of the training program. If you are not having complete attendance, it will be difficult for us to relieve you from this training, give you the relieving orders, which are very useful for you to join. So please be extra careful for marking the attendance. And after once it is closed, it won't be opened again. We are taking the screenshot. You please rename yourself correctly. If you have not marked the attendance by chance, we will try to locate you there. If you are visible there, then only you will be marked present from our side. So this is a very mandatory aspect and mark it carefully. Over to Ma'am, ma yes, one last sir. question. Uh, I actually, I just missed the, uh, you know, first uh, small part of this session. That is how to download uh, this uh, open shot. Sir, please go to openshot.org or you simply type open shot video editor in the Google. And the first page which will appear is openshot.org. You open that and in the download button, you will find out all the possibilities. Choose it according to your computer, Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, uh, Google Chrome operating system, Ubuntu operating system, iOS operating system, whichever is there, you can choose accordingly and download and install it in your computer. Sir, ma'am, what about Ryzen? Is one, one of us, no. What is? Ryzen, Ryzen. What is Ryzen, sir? I think the Windows type uh, and uh, it appears. No, sir. It, Ryzen is just a processor. That's okay, not okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have not heard this term. Sorry, but I didn't okay, know. I, so I understood. I understood. Like Intel, Ryzen is also a processor developed from AMD. Okay, it is a yeah. processor. Okay. Yeah. So I am talking about operating you, uh, system. Like we have Windows. We mostly have Windows. We have some people have uh, Apple. Ubuntu is also there now with states and national uh, in the offices. Like my system is a dual boot system where I have Ubuntu also. 
So this one thing is the advantage that this will work in Ubuntu also. So that's the advantage of this software. Ma'am, what could be the difference uh, of choosing 32 bit and or uh, 64 bit? Ma'am, this is your technical computer setting. Now all the new computers are 64 bit. The old ones were 32 bit. They might be slow. They might so according to that, the version is created so that it can support your system. Ma'am, can we access any kind of uh, video, ma'am? MKV file or MP4 file? So MP4 this... definitely you can do. Rest you can just try. If it works, it will be working. If it does not, then you have to make it into a compatible format. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Over to Anna. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. We will resume our session after 10 minutes. So we have 10 minutes break.